Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm done. It's time to play Shafa Wafa's version of Azuri's Kitty. This is the 14th deck I'm playing in the Pauper Gauntlet. And the Power T version of Azuri's Kitty will be played as number 16. That should be pretty shortly. So let's do this. And here we are playing against Nanti. I think we have to mulligan this. And this we are keeping. Playing the crossroads first. Hope he's burn. That would be fun. But I think my opening is extremely strong. And he is burn. Low missionary. Not what he wants to see. If he taps out, I will bounce the lone missionary. But I fear that he will kill it. Then I will have to bounce something else. I don't feel it's necessary to bounce the land yet. So I'm playing the Seagate Oracle. Looking for life gain. But I'll take the Chancery. Okay, now I can bounce the lone mission. So land destruction burn. Dream stalker for lone missionary. But the chancery will die. Which will cause a problem. If the chancery lives, I will have a field day. I do have the preordain though to find more lands, so. And it doesn't kill it. So we are having a ball here. Okay, let's slow down and plan this turn. Lone missionary, first preordain. I don't find spreading seeds doing a whole lot against them right now. Uh, we want both of those. Play the lone missionary. Still above 20 life. Uh, David says that burn is one of the easiest matchups, and of course, all this life gain makes it extremely hard. So just keep playing lone missionaries and bouncing them. Seems like a plan. And if he has to kill my creatures, of course, who plays shock in a burn deck? I'll get the Seagate Oracle if he kills the lone missionary. And he does. And 
Oh, Trixie, but it's draining all of his resources. So I will just return the island. And now I am so out of harm's way that I can safely cast the Maldrift the next turn. There is a War Marshal. I think at this point only his life total matters. I'll play the Maldrifter. And I can ask the curse. Will you pay? Will you pay the echo? Yes, you will. I'm probably better off bouncing the. Oh, it, it's dead. Ah oh, well, so then we are doing the real acid thing. We are down to 19 lives. Real acid is such a nice catch-all answer. There are only two in David's deck. But they are doing a ton of work. And we also have a killer sideboard plan for burn. We bring in two circle of protection red. <laughs> um, this feels almost nasty. They are both red. And we take out serrated arrows. Even against some goblins and the real acids. They are too slow. And I think this will be a cakewalk. I haven't played a deck for four months. Okay, let's see if we can do this again. Oh, this is a slow opening, but I'm gonna keep it and hope he doesn't pull some land destruction. Uh, crossroads sounds like more fun. Dan Gilgate. <laughs> Chancery seems risky. Journey. That must hurt him more than it hurts me. But he could get lucky here. And if he can take out my chancery when I play it, I am in trouble. I think the correct thing here is to make him discard a card. Let's 
Training his resources. And Dreamstalker will block Goblin tokens all day. And he has hard time getting to 4 mana for his land destruction. Chancery! Extremely vulnerable. Ver vulnerable. Okay, not returning the Chancery. This is, these lands are very similar. I made the mistakes before. Returning the Guildgate. And now I can actually start playing things. Wait a minute, Spreading sees him now. Mm. Looks like a nice option. Ouch! Okay, now land destruction is working. Good old stone rain. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Okay, now I'm in big trouble. Still takes a lot of turns for him to kill me. Okay, what is the most unrealistic thing to cast here? It's actually Muldrifter. So I think I have to discard it. Everything else works really good now still need to get to two land there's a planes but given that he doesn't do anything with his three cards in hand he might very well have another land destruction spell so I'm in trouble if you didn't catch it before. What do I play first? I think it's spreading seas. And getting me closer to more lands, being able to bounce with the dream stalker. Unless he plays a real threat, in which case it is here need to know her. Oh my god, it's working on me! Mono red land destruction. Oh, okay, I think it is the journey I have to get rid of here. Five turns more to live, unless he has any direct damage, which of course he has. What do I discard here? I think it's the Sky Fisher. Tons of land in my deck. 22. Okay, if this island lives for now, I have to draw another land pretty much. Uh oh. I think he, he's got this one. And he has. Uh, 
Anything in my sideboard? Help me here. Maybe a piracy charm for something expensive. For a journey. Holy lights for journeys as well. Improvising. Only one deck has lost so far. Will this amazing deck be the second deck to lose? I seriously doubt it. The land destruction is a lot more difficult than uh, just simple burn. Mono-red land destruction is what I'm gonna call this deck, or not burn. Alright, let's do this. He's sideboarding again. So did I, but I was much faster. I want you to know which version of Soviet Kitty you like the best. I want to play first, yes. I'm keeping this. Looking very good. Preordaining, picking up lands. Both of these are really good. Play the lone missionary. But it's not my life total I need to be worried about. He is definitely that explains why he was so keen on burning creatures in the first game. Did he keep a one lander? Wow. Okay, lands then. Uh, I think that's the right call. Maybe that was wrong. Uh oh. It most definitely was wrong. So we preordain again. Reading says, let's land destruct the land destruction deck. He still has curses. How does he have room for everything? But I'm in no crisis. So I spreading says. And I bounce it with the dreams, bounce it with the skyfisher. And play the chance re retrieving a plane. If it doesn't land destroy, land destroy me next turn, I, I'm going off.
Sky Fisher. Can't do anything about that. Spreading seas. Drawing a card. Playing the Dreamstalker. Returning Spreading Seas. Playing Spreading Seas. Nice. Bye bye, Chancery. Well, those guys doesn't look very dangerous, do they? Dreamstalker spreading says circle crossroads. Okay, another Dreamstalker. Retrieving the spreading says. Play spreading says. Crossroads Circle of Protection Red I have to turn off the auto yields Now it's time to drain his resources. Uh, we are gonna use the circle. Okay. Um, we want to preordain. Get them both. Island. Paris is charm a card. Another card. Uh, attack, then holy light. Crushed. And we play the land, so yeah. Doing good. G good game. And we win against the land destruction deck. Go, go, Azorius Kitty. Okay, tell me, which version of Azorius Kitty do you like best? Shuffle Wafas or Power T? Playing Power T's deck very soon. It might be on the other YouTube channel. SNG prop, probably. If you don't find it here. Thank you for watching.